Good evening, jammers, and welcome to JNC TV Live. I am your host, Brad Brock, and it's game night here in the legendary JNC Lounge. And we're playing some of our favorites, like Shock Collar Trivia. <laughs> The look on Jordan's face that she was giving me. <laughs> the stink guy. <laughs> I don't even know why. I'm not even playing. Yeah. I mean, you are the host of, of Shot Collar Trivia, so that it, it's, it's an important it's an important role. It might be just as bad. In, yeah. in fact, <laughs> uh, we've also got uh, our new lip reading game, Read My Lips, um, or the longer version of that title. Do you know the words that are coming out of my mouth? Or do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Lots of uh, lo lots in there, but uh, but worth it, worth it. Uh, and we're also going to uh, play a round of name that tune. We might actually kick off with that. So uh, be sure that you have your thinking caps on out there. We'll also hit you with some entertainment news in the Jordy Files. Of course, Ellie's Bad Bitch Bible Study coming up this evening as well. And we've got some great music peppered in throughout the evening. So it's going to be a good time. Joining me here in the legendary JNC Lounge is the JNC Destruction Crew. Say hello to Miss Jordan Taylor. <laughs> Love that bitch, Ellie Brock. We got Miss Linda back there hanging with us tonight. Uh, Jen was like, I'd like to be wherever there's no cameras. So we have the little <laughs> hidey hole over here that, that we put everybody. And uh, and Colby's uh, over here hanging out. He's, he's, he's holding down the fort for us uh, over here. Uh, Derek's off tonight. Uh, and it, it sucks because we do shock collar trivia for Derek. So I, I'll wear two shock collars. Oh. No, I won't do that. But somebody's going to wear a shock collar. It might it's in be, his honor. It might be. Colby. Colby. Ah, ah. I like that shirt. Size matters, doesn't it, Colby? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so uh, we, we got a nice little party here in the lounge tonight. Thank you all so much for tuning in live with us this evening on YouTube, Facebook, and listening in on Shore Life Radio. Please remember to smash that subscribe button wherever you happen to be catching the show. But uh, I imagine we should probably uh, get this bus rolling with our shot of the week. Let's do it. All right, all right. Our shot of the week this week. Um, I've heard about this shot for ages. Right. But the other night at the Sneaky Tiki holiday party, uh, shout out to Darren and the crew there for putting on an amazing holiday party on Monday night of this week. Um, did you put a little Sprite on top of all this? Oh, God, you guys are so good. It's amazing. Um, we almost know what we're doing. Almost. We're going to talk a little bit about that party uh, here in just a little bit. But this is the Florida Tea. And uh, it's a play on the, the traditional what? the Florida Tea. The what? The Florida Tea. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a play on the traditional uh, green tea that everybody knows, but it's made uh, with Jameson orange. So, yeah, you know, a nice little uh, switch up. It's very easy to make. Uh, if you know the original formula, you're just switching out the um, the JMO. Uh, so you combine equal parts Jameson orange, peach schnapps, and sour mix into a shaker, a shaker, a shaker with ice. Uh, Start down strong. Yes, shaker with ice. Uh, shake it up and strain into a shot glass. You can top it with some Sprite, and, and there you go. You've got your Florida tea. Ellie, I feel like you're, you're up there twice. <laughs> Linda, was, I can slide over. Linda just picks up wherever she wants to be. Yeah, slide over just a little bit. That that makes sense. Oh, and then here, this is no. You're good. Linda, you, Linda came in. You like you. Uh, uh, down to the like of the rock star that you are linda <laughs> right on the end in the wire 30 seconds to go before the start of the show like my <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're gonna get her sorted out but um here it is here it looks just like a regular green tea and um yeah th thank you all for being here in the lounge linda uh, it's so good we i feel like just a couple episodes um uh, ellie was like where's my microphone check there you go. There we are. <laughs> um, so uh, it was just a couple of episodes ago. We were uh, maybe for Oktoberfest. 
I guess that was more than a couple episodes ago. <laughs> um, we, you know, we were, we we were drinking out of your your big mugs uh, that Linda actually made these for us. I guess I have to make new ones. Getting a new logo, right? No, same. I mean, we just we just lost the podcast on the logo. That's all. Um, you know, because we, we're we're more. We're more. We're more than a podcast. We're a shit show. <laughs> so cheers to all of you tuning into this shit show. And thanks for all of you being in the shit show with me here. Salud. That's a big shot. Yeah. But it tastes just like a green tea, but there's like that hint of orange right on the little bloop, bloop, bloop. It's very nice. It is nice. I think it's nice. It is yeah. nice. It's it's got a, like a nice citrus sweetness right on the end of that there. Refreshing. It is refreshing. Yeah. Let's do many, many, many more of these tonight. <laughs> I think that's a great, great Good idea. idea. <laughs> what could go wrong? Uh, join us for our shot or cocktail of the week each week by visiting us at <laughs> jnclive.tv and clicking over to the shot of the week page to see what we're planning. Ooh, it is tart, though. It is tart. <laughs> then you can get everything you need delivered to your door by Ellie. I will personally <laughs> deliver it. Drizzly. <laughs> Dr- Ellie. Esley. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, so I was mentioning that we had a, a wonderful holiday party Jordan and I went to uh, on Monday night. Put on by uh, our, our partners at the Sneaky Tiki, Mr. Darren Reddick, uh, the owner and proprietor of the Sneaky Tiki. Uh, it was such a good time. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I thought that it was going to be open to the public, but um, it was they were closed down and it was invite only. It was very exclusive. I felt like a very it was very, very VIP. Yeah, it was a very like speakeasy type of situation because, uh, you know, they you had to like they would open the gate for you and you come in and they close the gate and there was like nothing else going on on Colorado there in downtown Stewart. And it was wonderful and it was a bunch of regulars it was their employees it was a, a, a gaggle of musicians uh, that that are that play there regularly uh, so it was really nice to kind of hang out with some of my colleagues that you don't necessarily get to see in that kind of situation and, and there was such a beautiful moment after so many bush lights <laughs> um, and shots uh, there was plenty of that flowing um, Everybody, you know, was kind of getting up and it was, you know, kind of an open jam. You know, every, uh, Jeff Farshidian was uh, just had all of his stuff set up and we got up and jammed. And right at the end of the night, last song of the night, uh, I, I got up and the first song I, I played was um, Why Don't We Get Drunk and Screw? <laughs> and I, I I sent that out to my lovely wife, Jordan. And uh, and then somebody yelled out Pirate Looks at 40. And if you guys know me, I'm a Jimmy Buffett sap. I love the man and and his entire legacy. So how could you say no? Uh, so I played it, and the most magical thing happened. One by one by one, these wonderful musicians that I get to call friends started trickling up to the stage and singing "A Pirate Looks at Forty with me until every musician that was there was up on stage. And I have a photo. I'll pull up uh-huh. a photo here. Um, was up there with me, and uh, here you got Jeff Farshidi, and you got Scott God. Bench, you got oh, wow. Stephen D. Hunt, you got Matt Ingram, you've got uh, uh, Chris Moore right there in the front, and you've got Mike LeBon, and then some asshole in a hat that looks very <laughs> similar to mine uh, right in front. And uh, like, if you guys, uh, if you're not on the Treasure Coast or local, these are heavy hitters. Yeah. These are the troubadours of the area. They are out there gigging every single day of every week and to gather them all into this one place for a moment like this thank you kelly clarkson ah. um <laughs> it was just it was so magical and uh I, I there's video nobody should hear it i'm not sure what kind of condition we were actually in but it was quite a moving experience to have all these wonderful guys uh hanging out and um and singing with me and so that was the sneaky tiki holiday party and i could not have thought of a better way to spend my monday night and which leads me into my next point here before we dive into the show we were celebrating as well because miss jordan 
is now not just Jordan anymore. She's truck driving Jordy. <laughs> Legal, ready to drive, the proud owner of a CDL license, commercial driver's license. You know, you get an applause for that. Thank you. Thank you. And now she's able to... We put in lots of work. <sighs> lots of sweat equity. There was, a, there was one moment... Lots of um, wrinkles. I, I think on Sunday night, it had to be Sunday night. I was uh, sitting, I, I had worked and I was sitting at the at the dining room table and uh, Jordan came up with her packet of information for the Ooh. CDL license. And she was like, want to quiz me? <laughs> and by that, she just was showing me the paper and going through the, all the steps of the trucks and the things. And I swear to God, I had to have fallen asleep like twelve times. And like I was just like nodding off the whole time, glazed over like but a she, ham. But she nailed it, and like it, you wouldn't know, you were sleeping. You nailed it. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you nailed it. Yeah, you're, you're like yes, yes, that was great. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what the page says. But no, uh, everybody chiming in here saying congrats. Oh, thank uh, you guys. Yeah. Yes, it was it was a lot of work. Remind me never to go back to school. <laughs> learning is awful God, learning is the the mind birds. is a terrible thing and then you never have to see my packet around again that's what i said i said you have to pass this test because i can never see that everywhere i turned in this house for the last week i would take it with me everywhere that, I <laughs> that steeple together xerox copied packet was the front, everywhere the front of a freight liner on the front of it yeah. <laughs> on my bed on the coffee table <laughs> on the kitchen table on the counter in the living room the bathroom the who bath- knows it was wherever. everywhere it was unbelievable uh but uh, i'm so proud of you 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 nailed it you almost you. you almost ruined it by going over that curb yeah. but what was the experience like for you how how was it are you are you relieved yes yeah yeah Amazing. it's good for the self-esteem too I don't know how we would have done if we would have failed. Yeah. That would have been We would have went to the, the sneaky tiki and drank all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we did anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was good. Uh, and they prep you well. Because I mean, all your training hours, you're basically going over what they're going to test you on just over and over again and working on what you need to. So they prep you well for it. But yeah. And I was telling her, a lot I was of information like, to I was take like in. they don't want you to fail. They want you to succeed. So yeah. How did you feel when you like first got in the truck? Oh, like I, before your test, like as soon as it started, I, it wasn't too bad because I had driven them at work, but it was a manual. So that was mm-hmm. that was the Yeah. So that made it a little scary different. But yeah, and I so haven't driven one of driving a stick shift. I, I haven't driven a stick shift in 20 years a big or box more truck stick shift. Yeah, it was. So that was kind of difficult. <laughs> I learned to drive. Linda, in you got to get shift? up on that. You got to get up on that. Microphone. How did I learned to drive in a stick shift back in. Uh, uh-huh. 1973. Oh, shit. I had my first automobile accident in a stick shift in 1973. What was going on in 1973? We're not going to talk about how long it. ago 1973 nope. was, Linda. 30 years ago, yeah. Yeah, 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, they told me I couldn't break, put the brake on unless I put the clutch in, which is not a true statement. You can stop the vehicle because it will stop. <laughs> but, then it, but then it'll stall. <laughs> but, but then, then it'll, it'll stall. Stop. But it would have stopped. And I it would have stopped. I wouldn't have hit the telephone pole then. Oh, oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yep. It's okay. I think I made that mistake, too. Oh. I don't even in know how training. you got up in that thing. Oh, yeah. Well, Jordan is 19 feet yeah. tall, so <laughs> she is of the Amazon uh, inclination there. Yeah. So uh, that was probably the scariest thing was just, yeah, acclimating to the stick shift. That's so Like awesome. the big truck wasn't. Too bad because we, you know, I had been dri- driving them at work kind of, but they're automatic ones. So you implement a whole new level when you have to actually focus on being able to take off and especially at an intersection light. Oh, God. The first time oh, when we yeah. got on the road, like to get going. And then there's like a finesse to the letting off the clutch, but then pushing on the gas kind of. It's yeah. like it's like when you learn how to use the gas pedal, even in an automatic at first, you know, you're like, oh, like yeah, yeah, exactly. Whiplashing <laughs> everywhere and stuff. Like, and every oh. single one is going to be different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that too. Yep. So felt very comfortable in the one. At least they let me use the same truck the whole time. And I tested in that one. And so 
Nice. Yeah. So that was helpful as well. Was that the first was, time you ever drove a manual? It was not, but it has been like 12 years or 13 years. Oh. So well, I did like in college. A bike. Yeah. Yeah. And I only did it one time. My roommate in college, she had a stick shift and she let me practice one day, one time. So, <laughs> one day, one day one for time. like wow. three hours. <laughs> and that was it. But oh, man. It's kind of fun. I, I feel like we, I um, talked to the. Um, trainer guys there or whatever and I was like I feel like we could solve a lot of problems but I, I was like I feel it is amazing that everyone used to drive this way like this used to be the majority the stick shift you know like could you imagine how many less or more accidents there might be if people actually had to pay attention and not be on their phones because you're busy shifting and stuff I'm like would it be better out there driving or worse I don't know but well, they're already working it's on like the cars that distract. drive themselves. Yeah. So yeah. let's let's do that. Let's get that going. Yeah, we should probably perfect that. That, a would, that bit. would be better for me and everyone. Yeah. But I could think. you imagine if we all went back to stick shift driving? That would be wild. That'd be wild shit. You couldn't do it. Onward and upward. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, but let yeah, me, but it was let me good. take a sip of my beer here. <laughs> oh, did we get a keg sponsor? We did. We got a keg sponsor. It was me. <laughs> it was we me. We couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> yeah. So, so seriously, if you guys want to sponsor a keg, uh, we've got one for this month. It's me. Uh, but if you want to be on on deck for next month, Venmo us a hundred bucks and get us a keg. Uh, we we go through them. It's yeah. amazing. Uh, it's even, amazing. <laughs> even if it's just Ellie and I, it's, we it's not humanly possible, <laughs> but we do it. Yeah, we, the, the football is still happening, so oh, Ellie yeah. comes over sometimes, and we'll, we we put a dent in that. Uh, yeah. uh, but we're also going over <laughs> podcast ideas, of course. Uh, you know, business. Yeah, yeah, it's a business meeting. Business meeting. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, so we're still looking for that, and and I'll tell you about all the perks of that. But uh, for now, it's me. I'm the, I'm the keg sponsor. Uh, speaking of kegs, mm-hmm. I got the keg from the brand new Total Wine in St. Oh. Lucie West, if you're here on the Treasure Coast. Um, that just opened this week. Very exciting. Um, no no love lost for the Jensen Beach Total Wine. They have been great, but uh, this is 20, new hotness. 20 minutes closer <laughs> easily. And the store is beautiful. They're doing a good job in there. And I think... I hosed them. I think uh, they accidentally gave me twenty dollars off my keg. Don't so. don't admit that, yeah, Brad, right? on air. What are they gonna do? Did come you, come did at me, total one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a coupon that they've been sending it. <clears throat> you get ten dollars off of fifty dollars. Right. I got. I had that and I <laughs> used it, and then they gave me another ten dollars off for some reason. I'll have to show you the receipt. It's it's bizarre. But when they told me the total on checkout, I was like okay and paid it and got the hell out of dodge and then i looked at the receipt in the car and, and yeah they, they had given me ten dollars off and then another ten dollars off no idea why maybe it's because i'm dead sexy not likely maybe they were indirectly she was trying to be the keg sponsor maybe yeah total wine is hey, now the keg sponsor yeah. <laughs> listen if 10 of y'all want to get together out there and be the keg sponsor i'll put a group photo together <laughs> and y'all could look great here the <laughs> we just i can't buy it no more i'm pretty um, sure if ac Moore would have still been in there with total wine the sales would have been awesome right <laughs> yeah. it, that total wine is cool too they have a whole tasting room in the back and everything and it's uh, it, it looks pretty great. I'm very excited. But uh, yeah, so that opened. And um, yeah, and that, and we have Linda in the house with us tonight. Here the lounge. So Linda, how, how long are you, are you here in in, uh, in the Treasure Coast area? Um, I think I'm leaving Monday morning. Monday morning? Okay, so we got you for the weekend. She thinks. She thinks, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have to look at my calendar. Oh, She's but, got an itinerary. Yeah, I do have an itinerary. But it's so great to see you. And, and yeah, like uh, Linda's been on a couple of our podcasts. Uh, one notably was our Halloween, one of our Halloween episodes. 2021. And 2020. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to go and cry. Um, yeah. And uh, so it's nice to have you here. And, and you, you made us all these cool things like like this mug. I saw it and I was like, I got to I'm going to have to drink out of the leader mug tonight. <laughs> So tell us about life. How is Georgia? Um, cold. Um, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Cold. Uh-huh. I have to express that, that, you know, I've lived in Florida since 1988. Uh-huh. And in 2022, I moved to Georgia. And they have 20 degree weather. Oh. 
and, and they have yeah. snow. Oh. But they didn't have snow any. La we didn't have snow last year. But the first year I was there, we had snow, and I'm sure with El Nino, um, whatever's happening, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna <clears throat> have more snow to deal with. But. You're gonna have it. I lived. Yeah. I lived one year in the snow and had to like do the whole salt and the shoveling and the, the scraping the thing. I was like, nope. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna move back to no snow. Yeah, <laughs> wasted time. I'm wasted. Yeah. Especially at that time, and I was super young back then. I, I did not leave any time to spare for anything, so I would run out of the house and jump in the car like I was ready to like bolt down the street, and was like, "Nope, nope." There's a million things to do uh, before that, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a very small town. It's a five thousand people population. Um, very quiet. Very <clears throat> remote. You know, um, but. Sometimes you can hear your neighbors practicing target practice. Oh. And one of my neighbors has a family of four, five deer that go through their yard. And I had a male buck go through my yard. I didn't know it. I didn't see it. But this track was there. And somebody told me that's what it was. So I'm going to go with it. Oh, target but, practice. Yeah. I got Chip and Dale. <laughs> I got two chipmunks. No Aww. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, birds. Lots of birds, big, big red tail hawks that are like two foot tall. Oh my God. So you can't let your, I, I have a cat, but he doesn't go outside, but my neighbors have miniature schnauzers and they cannot let their dogs. Oh out yeah. They'll, they'll scoop them right up. Mm -hmm. We have some hawks out here that are big enough to take up like a little teacup of anything. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, that's, that's kind nice. of a nice change of pace though, to be it's, somewhere that's uh, kind of relaxed and, and, and remote and out, out, out in the wilderness. Out in the wilderness, yep. Oh, nice. nice. But it's nice to be back here. And <clears throat> when I left, it was uh, about um, 37 degrees. And I had a shirt on and a sweater. And I'm driving down the roads, pouring down rain, lightning and everything. I get right about the Georgia, uh, Florida border and stops raining, sun shining. I stop to get gas. I'm sweating. I got a sweater <laughs> on. <laughs> I take my sweater off. <laughs> <laughs> the layers oh, are coming off. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I brought all, you know, warmer clothes to wear here. So I had to go buy some T-shirts to wear. <laughs> she forgot. How quickly. Well, it, it's the weather. I looked on the weather channel and it said you guys are going to have rain all week and 50 degrees. And oh, yeah. 50 degrees back home is the high. And, <laughs> and, and then so warm. So. Yeah. 50, 50 degrees here is... Um... It's still it's t shirt the, and short yeah, weather. Yeah, it's the it's the <laughs> coldest that it's gonna get and it's like ninety percent humidity, so yeah. you're still sweating out there. It's crazy. Yeah, I lost all my curls when I got here. <laughs> my natural straight wave. here for the win. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't oh. even have to work it. But it's good to be back. I'm glad to see all you guys. Yeah, I'm so glad you decided to drop by. It's yes. great to see you. It's our, just it's different watching you guys like now here because I watch you on this. TV that's like a mini drive-in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big TV, and then I, I put it, I put you on the TV, but I talk on my phone because I can't oh. figure that out. I'm sorry, our heads are much smaller in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad's isn't. Uh, <laughs> funny guy. All right. Well, Linda, are you ready to uh, get shocked in the shock collar? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Well, we'll see because it's coming up here. I don't just think so anyone <laughs> wants to play that game, Brad. So. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. Well, oh. I guess we ought to get this game night started uh, with a fun round of Name That Tune. We'll go easy on you first. All right. So oh, we invite, of course, all of our live viewers out there to play along with us in the chats and comments. We are looking for the name of the songs and the artist or band performing it. Uh, today is National Violin Day. Oh, so our category tonight is Violin Night. Uh, <laughs> That's a stretch. Thank you. Thank you for the giggles. I'll take it. <laughs> wow. So these are songs featuring the violin. What do you say? Let's play. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I switch. I, I put it. I have more monitors now, so like everything is not where it's supposed to be. But uh, here is the first clue for naming that tune. 
I think you guys are going to ace this. I think you guys are going to knock this out of the park, to be honest. So here we go. First clue. These are popular songs. I should have noted popular songs that uh, feature a violin. Here's that clue again. Crushed it. Yeah, Jordan. Jordan crushed it. Should I put the movie too? My oh, there's a movie that it was in. Oh, sure. Put that too. Extra extra points there. Uh, Mike, Mike in there. Philip. Mike, you got the wrong artist, though. That's okay, though. Eric Johnson, tune in there. DJ Electrip. Thanks for tuning in, man. Oh, that's my stepson. Aw. Really? That's my stepson, Eric Johnson. Yep. No kidding. Yep, he lives in Ohio. It's oh, the cool. smallest world ever. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan said Freebird. It's not Freebird. <laughs> All right, what do you guys got here in the lounge? Nothing. Nothing. Linda's got nothing. I couldn't remember the artist. Uh, Jen said from Cruel Intentions. Nice, Jen. So not bad. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. Bittersweet Crushed Symphony it. is the song. Jordan got it all the way down the line. It is Bittersweet Symphony by The Verb. It's a bittersweet symphony. Nice. Nice. Not bad. Not a bad start. <clears throat> All right. Next clue here for Name That Tune. Uh, National Violin Day featuring a violin. And uh, P.S. I absolutely love this song. It's a guilty pleasure. And uh, it's so overplayed. But I love it so much. I even jammed out to it when I was putting this clue together. Here we go. <laughs> That's all you get. It's so good. Here it is again. <laughs> I'll say it's a more modern tune uh, within the last 10 years. It makes me want to listen to the whole thing. I, I love this tune. <laughs> Everybody is question marking <laughs> out there in the world. All right. Uh, have we uh, finished our guesses here in the lounge? As good as it's going to get. Uh, excellent job, Jen. It's not that. <laughs> What'd you say, Linda? I said it's easy. This game is easier at home. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, you got it there. Uh, do you have anything there, Colby? Nothing? What she said. Oh, what she said. Okay. <laughs> it is <laughs> It is Rather Be by the Clean Bandits uh, featuring Jess Glynn. So good. So good. No place I'd be. No place I'd be. So good. Let's do it again. Five seconds of bliss. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys ready for the next clue? Might be a little easier. Maybe. Probably not. Here's the next clue. Name that tune. National Violin Day. So these are I'm featuring the violin parts. Here it is again. Linda seems confident. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, Mike, Mike got it. Jonathan got it as well. Philip got it. Uh, and Eric got it as well. What do you guys have? Jen, Jen's lost nothing. Oh. I, yeah, Jordan, I'm going to give it to you because a drunk at the pub. No, Colby, that's not it. Uh, it is Dust in the Wind by Kansas. Nice job. Dust in the wind. Oh, we are. 
Now, Jordan, I feel like I could hear it. I almost put candle in the wind, and I was like, "It's not no, that." No, no, it's something in the that's wind. The other one. Yeah. It's the other in the wind. Yeah. I feel like I feel like you got that one because your dad is Jack Kern. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Jack Kern song. Yep, definitely. All right, next clue. Are you ready? I feel like it's a nice split of people that know nothing <laughs> and people that are killing it. Wow. <laughs> That's, that's great. <laughs> Mike Mike said, you're my boy, Blue. You remember the, from oh, yeah. old school? <laughs> All right, next clue. Here we go. National Violin Day. Look at all the love. <laughs> Did you guys see the look on Jordan's face when it, when it clicked? She was like, oh, yeah. Here's that clue one more time for you. Yeah, everybody's coming in with the answer there. Oh, God. Eleanor. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so close, though. I should know this one. What do you guys got? Oh, wait. Come on, Eleanor. I know. Uh, Yes, yes. I'm, I'm proud of you for Good knowing job, the Cole. Beatles there. Uh, it is Eleanor Rigby, who, which is a... a, a a, a loving nickname that we've given Ellie uh, by the Beatles, of course. Eleanor Rigby picks up the rice in the church where a wedding is. In, maybe, what does he say? Picks up the rice in the in church, church where her wedding was held? Yeah. The rice. Nobody oh, she has you some throw, issues. You throw rice. She at, picks it up. She picks it up. <laughs> she, where nobody came. Yeah. Uh, That's the next verse. Where nobody came. Oh, ouch. Um, that cold. song just slaps i'm just gonna put that out there like it, it's uh, it's so good in fact i never had really listened to it remember the episode that we had jordan with um with river cat mark rivers mm -hmm. and he was talking about the length of songs was that mark or was that uh had to be mark he was talking about the length of pop songs back in the day and uh, they were always like under two and a half minutes long for radio if you had anything longer than the radio wouldn't spin you so the beatles so many of these amazing songs they have are under two and a half minutes eleanor Rigby is like two minutes and 50 seconds it's not even three minutes long but it feels like this anthem and so i listened i started listening to it after that episode i guess it was a year or more ago uh and i was never really a huge beatles fan just because i didn't understand but the more i dig into their uh, catalog man they they were on to something <laughs> they were on to something clearly clearly it, it's called lsd <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah where where is it yes yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> called lsd <laughs> all right you guys i got one more clue here for you and name that too jordan this is for you baby Kind of sounds like a mess there, but try to figure it out. <laughs> I'll give it to you one more time because it's actually kind of a shit clue. I will tell you that it's it doesn't come in on the beat, so it's like a little, you know, once you find out where it is. Uh, but Jonathan nailed it straight out of the gate there. Nice job, man. Oh. Uh, Rapid Dog said cheap trick. It's not cheap trick. <laughs> you guys ready? Anything here? Uh, oh, uh, Jen, did you get one single one? She got the first one. Oh, good. Good. No <laughs> shutouts here. Yes, Jordan. Yes, Jordan. What did What did you get, Ellie? Nothing? Absolutely nothing. Anything, Linda? Nothing? Nothing. Anything from you in the peanut gallery over here? No, uh, it, it was Ocean Avenue by yellow card there's a place off ocean avenue where i Throw used back. to sit and talk with yeah oh jaber just chiming in he said damn it did i just misname that tune oh, i know we're too early i know jay he said we played it too early tonight he said the bruins game is on and he lost track of time yeah i'm just throwing it we're throwing a game night tonight um so Nobody this, wanted to wear the shock collars. So nobody this wanted, was the one. Yeah, we had to do this one first. <laughs>
But nice job, you guys. I think it was a nice spread. Yeah. Was that was that a fun one? I thought it was fun. It was fun to find songs with. Um, I don't think everyone liked it. It was fun to find songs with violin parts in it. I was. You made. It I'm sound trash like, at this game, so it's. I was gonna say you made it sound like it was easier. Like everyone will get these. These are massive songs. I don't even know, but maybe it doesn't get more massive. So huge! It's, it's gigantic. It's very girthy. These songs. Size matters. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, you guys. Um, We're going to set up the next game. Uh, So we're going to get you guys to enjoy your first jam of the evening. When we return, we're going to play Read My Lips, better known as Do You Understand the Words That Are Coming Out of My Mouth? And we'll get into the Geordie Files as well. Don't touch that dial. This is Jams and Cocktails on JNC TV. We'll be right back. Let me paint you a picture Six thousand miles on a windy road Two lane highway to Nashville, Tennessee Out can southbound we vow to find a home That old 89 blue Chevy van could not pass 55 just enough food back to last a week We're lucky to be alive We'll get there when we get there He kept saying That old Atlas had never let him down We'll get there when we get there I'm just saying Old plans lost New dreams to be found Twice a week on a road to Miami the Movie star is who she dreamed to be Met that broken boy, fell hard as an old oak That broken boy fell hard at Bethany He played that old guitar as she sang him a tune Rolled long and hard, now they have the stars and moon. We'll get there when we get there, he kept saying. That old Alice had never let him down. We'll get there when we get there, I'm just saying. Old plans lost, new dreams to be found. Plays that old guitar as she sings in a tune. Rolling long and hard, now they have the stars and moon. We'll get there when we get there, he kept saying. Help us out, guys. That old Alice had never let him down. Come on. We'll get there when we get there, I'm just saying. Old plans lost new. Dreams to be found Old plans lost New dreams to be found All right, all right The Leafy Green's there Welcome back to the show uh, This place is uh, Linda didn't just bring herself She brought um, She brought a smorgasbord of Yep uh, whipped cream drinks here. Oh, uh, so that's we're, we're, good. We're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how good is it, Jordan? <laughs> she got the whole damn cup in her mouth. <laughs> Gotta get it all. Oh, uh, you making me the jealous tongue, over the there. The tongue's not long enough. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, your tongue's gotta be cut. Oh long. my God. Um, okay, so Linda, explain what what wow. this is. That's- this this flavor here. It's a it's a a mousse. So it comes in like a whipped cream it's called- can. It's called a vodka infused whipped cream. Okay, and, and it's produ- uh, it's Cardi B makes it. It's oh, Cardi, Cardi B. B. I hate does to she, say that I like it. Does she make it at her house? Because Maybe. I might not be able to eat it. Um, and it comes in different flavors. It's ten percent alcohol volume, so it's not that big. But it comes in uh, 
salted car- or caramel, vanilla, peppermint, key lime, mocha. Hey, which one is this? This is the mocha. The mocha. I brought the key lime, but the can quit working. <laughs> Cardi didn't fix the can. Yeah, Cardi. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. But I did buy it at. Well, this one's from Georgia. And <laughs> from I did Georgia. buy this one here. This uh, mocha here. Where'd you buy it um, from? Total Wine? Uh, are we plugging them? No. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it at. Um, oh, um, the. Um, home Run or. Oh, Home Run. The one, yeah, yeah one of those. Over in St. James? Yes. Or somewhere? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. That one. Jordan, I have to admit. That's good. Your, your strategy was pretty good. See? Mm. Oh, then you gotta just got to get the finger in there because. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. That's the clip. Y'all can fit this entire cup in your mouth? <laughs> can yeah. you not? Can you not? not? No. Not. Oh, well, we learned this with the marshmallows, yeah. <laughs> That's that's the screenshot. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> Ooh, baby, she got it. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous, man. <laughs> oh, Colby can do the whole pop can. Oh, my God. We're not going to show that. Don't show that. You got to pay for that. <laughs> Patreon. Um, pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. All right, you guys. But that, that, yeah, there's... Um, line called old smoky um yeah yeah the moonshine, uh, moonshine line right and they make a key lime cream so when coney came to visit me i bought the key lime cream and the whipped cream oh god and put it in a little shot glass together and it was it was a lot better this key lime is is pretty potent when you go yeah. to like when you do shots and you drink, you know, you inhale before you drink it. Sometimes you get that alcohol yeah, vapor. Yeah. You well, know, the key lime was like that really bad. So I would just rather drink the moonshine cream all by itself. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, I'd rather just take the whippets off of the uh, off of the can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, Cardi B's doing it. Uh, Coney tuning in. She said it was so good. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, Coney. All right, you guys. Um. Are we ready to move on to, to the next game? No. No, no, Jordan's not ready. We should try to get the key lime working. Yeah. No, just kidding. Oh, the peppermint. Oh, wow. I wonder what happened. How come? Do, it's do interesting, just, though. Do you just need a gentle touch? Because I have it. Well, well, it's interesting, though, because oh, it's, it's like bent or something. Colby let's see what's going on here. And fix it, but it's, it. You ha- well, this is so. This is Cardi B, right? So listen, this is what the directions say on a can, Brad. You smack the bottom, of the can, hit it, and then shake it. Oh. <laughs> and it's interesting. That's very upsetting. Come on, Cardi B. We need it. We need the spirit of Cardi B with us tonight. It's interesting how much bigger that can is than this one. Um, Are they all? Yeah, I think there's a, a couple. Of here, different you can sizes. mess around with that there, over there. Oh, there's Colby. different sizes. Let's see if you can't get that working. In the meantime, we'll uh, move on to our next segment. <laughs> good. He's following the, good the following the directions. That's how could you be mad? Hmm. All right, um, uh, we're we're it's back and like we're it. going to <laughs> 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 we're gonna uh, play a game we actually introduced at the end of our last season uh and uh it was a huge hit everybody loved it you guys out there you you told us that you wanted it and we brought it back so we're going here for round two and it's called you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth (laughs) yes do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth um, it's a simple game that we've made very, very complex because uh, we introduced technology and everybody knows we're very, very good at that. Uh, but the rules are pretty simple. We're going to have two players. Uh, one will be speaking as the other is reading their lips and guessing what the other person said. Uh, so uh, we've got an audio device here, better known as a Galaxy phone of a certain time period. Hey, now. And it's going to be playing some white noise. 
uh, and um, in the reader's ears. So uh, they truly cannot hear what the other person is saying. So first, we'll, we'll we'll pick our teams. Do we have any volunteers to go first? Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So we'll have Colby. Colby go. And and Ellie. So we got Colby and Ellie. And uh, who's going to speak and who's going to listen? I'll speak first. All right. So Colby's going to listen. So what you're going to do. <laughs> That's the way I want Is you're going to take your headphones out of there and you're going to plug it into this phone. And then you're just going to press play. Right. Uh, you probably have to unscrew that adapter um, and then you'll hear some some noise. We're going to crank the volume up on it. You just show me the volume and make sure it's like pretty much all the way up. And uh, it'll be pretty loud, I imagine. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's horrible. You can just set it on the desk. And so Ellie is now. Oh, can you hear me, Colby? Can you hear me? No, you can't hear so me. So they're playing ag- with each other. Right. So. Okay. Ellie is going to say something to Colby. Now, be sure to, like, kind of come out around that microphone so he can see your lips. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're ready. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the quick brown fox. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Jumped over the something. <laughs> yes. You're so close. You're what? So You're Jumped so close. over the lazy dog. Jumped over the something dog. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah. Nice. Am I done? All right. <laughs> All right. Am you- I done? <laughs> do do one more. One more. Okay. Oh. Five cats fight for treats. Five what? <laughs> Five cats fight for treats. Five ass? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Five cats fight for treats. Five ass vapor juice. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Oh. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. It was it was five cats fight for treats was the answer there. Oh. All right, who's next? You crushed the first one though. What was the yeah, first one? You did. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Oh, it was lazy. Yeah, it was pretty good. Lazy I mean, that's dog, a, yeah. That's a pretty. Well, I feel like that's like a standard one. That, yeah, yeah um, something you can get it. That was this is how old I am. That phrase was what we used in typing class. Mm-hmm. Right, because it has all the yeah, characters, it has the, right? everything, all the uh, letters in it. Yeah, yeah, so good. Do they even teach typing anymore? No. <laughs> yeah, they do. You guys yeah? remember Mavis oh. Beacon, the typing, the, the the first like AI typing school. Anyway. I'm showing my age then. Nerd. <laughs> All right, Jordan, you're on my team, and I want to speak, and you want you to listen. Oh. <laughs> well, hand that over to her. Thanks, bud. I know you have short arms. Man, uh, it's the only thing that's short. Short arms. <laughs> it's not. Okay, I'm turning the sound on. All right. Very loud. Okay, Jordan. Can you see? Can you see my face? Five dollar footlongs at Subway. <laughs> what? <laughs> Five dollar footlongs at Subway. Five fiddles <laughs> for Tom Petty. <laughs> You got it! Yay! Did I really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, about one more. Um, let me let me think. Let me think. Um. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this all game right. is crazy. Um. Orange juice is for breakfast. Are you choose again? <laughs> Orange juice is for breakfast. A 
mine again. <laughs> Orange juice is for breakfast. Are you choose for breakfast? <laughs> you're so you were very close. <laughs> You were very close. You're very. I'm gonna give it to you because you're very close. The points matter. Am I done? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I love that they can't hear anything else that's being said. <laughs> it's a guessing game the entire time. It's so good. It's so good. How about we do? What, what did What did you say? <laughs> Orange oh. juice is for breakfast. Oh, dang! Yeah, it yeah. was pretty close. Yeah, Ooh. and it wasn't a. Uh, Fiddling for Tom Petty. <laughs> I said five dollar footlongs at Subway. Oh, yeah. Okay. You did a good job. Thank you. All right. Um. How about how about Jen and Linda? Yeah. Yeah. How about <laughs> yeah. Do it. Yeah. I think so. Do it. I think Jen's gonna listen and Linda's gonna speak. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Do so you have to you have to unplug your headphones and plug them into the phone? I like that a lot. Yeah, you're gonna have to help them through. They they don't know what they don't know what we've been yeah, we're, we've been we're, doing. We're the ways of the force. We're working here. You know. uh, Jen, <laughs> Mike Mike said, well, "Where's the referee?" And <laughs> also, <laughs> he said he said that facial hair is running mad interference. Man, Sorry, I, I where, can't. where do I get my phrase? I make it up myself. You just make yeah. it up. Oh. You know, or you can pick like a, like a common phrase, whatever you want to do. We God. have Linda made, I'm going to take this opportunity. Linda made <laughs> little croc gnomes. Croc gnomes. Oh, They're little croc shoes. Oh, my God. We have an issue, Brad. And What's gnomes. going on? Oh, it's because okay. Jen's headphones are the big. Oh, yeah. You can pull it. You can unscrew the, uh, oh. the adapter there. Can I have the we, purple one? We just make it work. Are you sure? Yes. All right, they're getting their technical difficulties sorted out. So cute! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got oh. it. Uh, uh, uh. D- Darlene said, "Just switched over from uh, f- from uh, Facebook to YouTube so that we can see." I uh, I have it all up, but the YouTube one is directly in front of me. The chat for YouTube is directly in front of me, and the chat for Facebook is off to the side. Jack Kern tuning in from California. Hello, so tuning in. Uh, Darlene said, "Hi, Linda." <laughs> Hi, Darlene. All right. My father. So Jen is uh, Jen is off screen, yeah. but um, but she does she does have a microphone. So <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I love fluffernutter sandwiches. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love fluffernutter sandwiches. Just guess anything. You gotta no guess. Clue. You gotta guess, Jen. Oh, she can't, she can't even hear, hear me. Because yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that, too. It's like, uh... Say, I love... <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and she claps. Yeah. <laughs> Fluffernutter sandwiches. <laughs> You have to I don't guess. Know. She, she says she doesn't <laughs> she know. She doesn't know anything at all. Yep. All right. It's, I think you guys have yeah. to flip flop now. I'm done. <laughs> all right. We're gonna have you guys. We're gonna have you guys flip flop. Oh great. So we're gonna, we're gonna put. Oh, you, you, okay. Liz, Ellie, you have to fix Linda's headphone. Yeah. Also, your headphones oh. are on the. I know. This is the best day of my life. I tried to fix it and I couldn't. Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, no wonder. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna put it in, uh, and, and Linda is Jen? gonna be in the white noise, and then Jen is going to and say I a said, phrase to Linda. And she's got to guess. Fluffer nutter sandwiches. Oh, I knew it's something I love. <laughs> you were close. It, it was it was that. Okay. All right. Wait, I'm not in. Yep, I know. I'm not in yet. Hold Ellie, <laughs> <laughs> she's juggling a lot here. Heard that before? I have. Yeah. I have okay. Him. All right, Ellie's All right. Ellie's on it. Right here. All right, Jen, you gotta make something up, but make sure that you face Linda so she can see your lips. <laughs> I love big butts. Amen. I love beanie babies. <laughs> that was pretty good. I give it to her one more time. I love big butts. I love big breasts. <laughs> 
that. So that close. Was close. All right, one more time. One more time. <laughs> I love big butts. I love big butts. Yeah. 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 Got it. Nice. Nailed it. All right, now who's nice gonna work. who's gonna go again? Who's gonna let me read their lips? I'm ready to read lips. We could all give you one. I right. think uh, Jordan should say things to you. <laughs> say things. She should say things to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. The short arms are hey, strong. It happens. All right, I'm gonna come out of my headphones here. Go into the white noise. Oh, man, that is that is unnerving. Yeah. Okay, I am, I am, I am ready. The yellow platypus likes cheese. <laughs> I feel like you're setting me up for something here. The yellow platypus likes cheese. You looking like a yellow what? platypus. Am I allowed to <laughs> say this on the air? That's how I felt too. The yellow platypus <laughs> likes cheese. <laughs> If I said little it. black, no, no, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, everyone's like, no, stop. Little black beans make the best farts. Oh shit! Oh no. Okay, let's try. Let me try again. The yellow platypus likes cheese. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not little black. <laughs> I'm ruling that one out. That's give me, a good give, call. Give it yeah. to me one more time. The yellow platypus likes cheese. <laughs> I'm at a loss. Dude. What? What is it? The yellow platypus likes cheese. <laughs> yellow platypus. <laughs> Oh my god! Ellie said you look well, like a yellow platypus. Yeah. Oh, what, what, what did you think she said? Yeah. What did you think she said that you couldn't say on? I hey, thought bro. it was little black boy. Oh, I mean, no! I could totally say that, <laughs> but I didn't know what was after that. <laughs> I didn't want to tread into some weird water. <laughs> but uh, that's a far cry from little yellow platypus. The yellow platypus <laughs> likes cheese. Yes. All right, Ellie, hit me. Oh. Uh, the blank look <laughs> on your face. It's hard. To- I, I had one in my head and then I forgot it. Oh, fuck. Are you ready? Smoky mountains in the fall. This game is so hard. <laughs> Smoky mountains in the fall. Smoking sideways makes you fart. <laughs> Why is everything about fart? farting? <sighs> Smoky mountains in the fall. Smell my fart. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it? Smoky mountains in the fall. Oh, smoky farts. <laughs> ah, smoky. Oh my God. All right, Linda, hit me. Okay. <clears throat> Feliz Navidad. Damn. Feliz Navidad. <gasps> yeah, I got it. You got one. Yay. Nice. All right. Uh, you got one for me, Colby? He's so loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right? Cool. I'm ready. Perry, the plot of us. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Perry, the plot of us. Platypus is good. Perry the platypus. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Jen, they can't see Jen. Oh, wait. I have one more. Oh, Jordan's got one. She can take okay. Turn. I'll take Jen's, yeah. <laughs> Today, we have a special birthday. 
What? Today, we have a special birthday. Is that English? (laughs) (laughs) All right, one more time. Today, we have a special birthday. Today, we have a special birthday. Sunday, you're my little boo thing. (laughs) (laughs) Today, we have a special birthday. Oh. We do have a very special birthday today. <laughs> it's a good segue. Wasn't All right, Jen. <laughs> let me get one. Give me one. Give me, I want to guess. One. I want to guess. This I is fun. Yet. Oh, no, you got nothing. She said no. And I think that's the right answer. <laughs> Ellie wants to <laughs> wants to have the noise. Yes. Oh, he can't hear. All right. Anybody want to go again? Oh. <laughs> oh, for me? No. Oh, you want to listen? Surrender. Speak. Well, you I, can't I got one for you, Ellie. I took it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that over. <laughs> Have you not gone at all? No. Oh. She spoke. Oh. She didn't receive. She gave. Oh, oh. she's gonna receive. She's a giver, not a receiver. <laughs> hey, I can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That thing really blocks out a lot of the sound. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Unless you get really loud. Yeah. You can hear the high. Oh. Oh. Are you ready? Uh okay go 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 for Colby. Is it a lot of be in Spanish? No. Why not? Maybe I don't care. All right. Dieres no flores. Move your lips. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Why not? English only. Land of flowers. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> sure. <laughs> One more time. Land of flowers. There's flowers. <laughs> That's, That's close. Right. That's pretty close. close. Maybe once more. Oh. Never mind. Oh. What was it? Land of flowers. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. well, close. The first one was it in Spanish. It was Dede de Flores. Oh, well, I don't speak Spanish. So. <laughs> That's when you're like, move your mouth. <laughs> I was like, what? All right, Jordy, you want to go? For no, her? You, you go. I got to think of one. I'm scared. (laughs) He's trying not to laugh. Uh. Frosted flakes. They're great. Frosted flakes. They're great. Yes. You got it. Yes. (laughs) Not bad. All right. Jordan, you want to go? We like tuna from a can. We like to drink from the toilet. (laughs) (laughs) We like tuna from the can. (laughs) We like tuna from the can. We like to eat ass. (laughs) Yes. Question, question mark. <laughs> oh my it? god. We like to eat tuna from the can. Oh, I mean same thing. <laughs> yeah, ass tuna, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. great. Does anyone else want to go? Anybody else want to go? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll circle back. Yeah. Oh my god. That this was game is so good. Oh, my cheeks are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need a face rest. Yeah. Yikes. All right, you guys. Well, um, that was uh, hilarious, as uh, we foresaw. And uh, now it's time for some serious entertainment news delivered by the least serious people on the planet. This is the Jordy Files. Mike Mike said 10 points for Griffin. Here's your host, Hello. the Jordy. Okay. I'm Jordy. She is the Jordy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jordy Files. Tonight, we will talk about the mother of a pop star who's running for office 
another pop star proves why she's the goat. Literally. Bah. And another pop star is heading to reality TV for a good cause. Here are some celebrity celebrity birthdays to start. Today is actor Jamie Foxx's 56th birthday, if you can believe that. Also, a uh, early 2000s favorite, rock singer Amy Lee is 42, best known for her band Evanescence. You may have heard of her. Yes. Um, oh, my. Steve Buscemi is 66 years old today. Holy moly. That's kind of hard to believe. That is. That's wild. Guitarist and vocalist for the band Blink-182, Tom DeLonge, is yes. celebrating his 48th birthday today. 48. 48. 48. How is he 48 and Amy Lee's only 42? True. I don't know how the math works, man. <laughs> math ain't mathin'. Uh, triple threat, legendary actor, singer, and dancer Dick Van Dyke is turning an <laughs> astounding 98 years young today. Christ. He is looking crazy. I mean, he looks great, but he looks crazy. I bet those are his original teeth. Yeah, he's killing the game, though, for 98. Um, <laughs> <laughs> rocker Ted Nugent is 75. Oh, my. Wow. And of course, without further ado, and you know, from my game clue, uh, without further ado, Time Magazine's Person of the Year and one of the world's most beloved, if not the most beloved pop stars, uh, the woman I'd leave Brad for. Oh, the first person I think of when I wake up in the morning. Oh, God. Oh, and the last thing I see before I close my eyes at night, all this is probably true from the TikTok, um, <laughs> the beautiful, en- enigmatic, enigmatic, ew, I don't like that, talented, did I say beautiful, queen of the world, oh, the one, the God. only, wow, I hate my producer, <laughs> Taylor Swift, turns a magical 34 years old today pam if you're listening i'm just i'm so sorry but to me she'll always be 23 i love you taylor we all love you the universe loves you taylor swift yay Yay. i retire now (laughs) it's amazing that you wrote so many nice things about her it was really painful to say Happy birthday, Taylor. Yeah. Thank you, Taylor, for being born today on a Wednesday. I had no idea that that you loved her so much. I didn't either. But (laughs) here we are. Loving TS. Um, (laughs) Hey, moving right (laughs) along. Moving along, but scarred at the same time. Katy Perry's mother, Mary Hudson, has announced her candidacy for a seat on the Santa Barbara County Republican Party's Central Committee in California, Hudson, a Pentecostal pastor, oh, did not know that, has successfully qualified for the March 2024 ballot. Despite Katy Perry's support for Democratic candidates in the past, uh, including performances at uh, political events, she maintains a loving relationship with her parents who are conservative. So isn't that just a hoot and a half? How about that? You can have differences of opinions. It's amazing. It's amazing. Wow. They still love each other. That's great. Take a note out of that book, folks. Oh, and if, you know, we didn't talk about her enough, Taylor Swift has donated a million dollars to the Tennessee Emergency Response Fund to assist with recovery efforts following tornadoes in Tennessee. The donation um, confirmed by the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee will primarily aid Sumner County, where Swift went to high school and which suffered significant damage. This act of philanthropy aligns with Swift's history of quiet, charitable contributions, including donations to food banks in every city of her era's tour. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, that's Philip, nice who's tuning in tonight, uh, is a resident of Middle Tennessee. So, Philip, chime, did he chime in earlier? Ch- he did. Um, let us know uh, how you guys are doing out there um, because we, we, we're worried about you. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, that was nice of her. Yeah, Philip actually gave me the lead on this story to put in uh, in the news tonight. So I uh, hope you guys are doing okay out there. I have some other friends in the area that um, that uh, are doing okay. But uh, yeah, tornadoes are crazy. A question for you guys: Would you would you prefer tornadoes or hurricanes? Mm-hmm. Hurricane. Neither. Hurricane. Both. Yeah, yeah I would. <laughs> Colby says both. <laughs> uh, I like it all. I, I feel like I would I would say hurricanes. I feel like you that you have time to prepare or escape. Right. You exactly. know they're coming. You know, it's not always super predictable. But, you know, I feel like there's more chance to prepare for the worst and hope for the best in that situation. Tornadoes just kind of drum up and wipe everything out in its path. Although you kind of know a little bit for them too, and if you have a basement, mm. yeah, we don't have those in Florida. Yeah, yeah but we would have never have a tornado. We don't really have that many. But but up it, there they do. Have you? Not everybody. Have you lived? Have you ever been where there's been a tornado? Yeah, in Michigan they have them all the time. But right, but I mean, yeah. did you hear it? No. It does sound like a freight train barreling down at you. Mm. It's pretty scary. Yeah, we didn't. In a, a hurricane, either, I mean, we've you know been here forever. You were born here, weren't you? Yeah. So, I mean, they have tornadoes, but they don't call them tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, they're just great big ocean tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, but no, I'd rather have a, I'd rather have a hurricane because you do have, you do have some time to. Yeah, a little bit have of time. a hurricane party. And yeah, no, I, 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 I totally, think- I, I get that that you can, that when the you could see that the conditions are right for tornadoes. So maybe you're kind of like, well, maybe let's get in the house. But I don't know. It's just there. It's such a small, fierce package of torment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I would prefer. It's all shitty. I mean, it is shitty all the way around. Everywhere but, has their. Yeah. You know, well, I hope anybody out there that happens to be listening up in that area. We hope you guys are OK and your families are are safe and sound. And, uh, I was just up there. Oh, Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, my gosh. So my nephew and just his before mother. it all went down. Yeah. Oh, my right. nephew and his mother live there. Uh, are they OK? Everybody's yeah, they're, good? they're actually fine. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, cute. Kudos to Tay Tay. Yeah. A million bucks go a long way for that kind of thing. Yeah. In the day there was a new. <laughs> I'm sorry. There was a news report where a lady was. Uh, had a four month old baby and she didn't grab the baby in time and it was in a crib and her husband was there and he went to grab the baby and and um the husband ended up in a tree he's alive and the baby ended up in a like stuck not stuck bloody but stuck in a tree and the baby came out you know just fine oh Oh. god i was waiting for that story to be horrible yeah like the baby just like we're gonna take a break to like come down off of that oh god they they did live in a mobile home so i'm not saying anything bad about mobile homes but but they well, won't survive a tornado. Yeah, they're they are not tornado. <laughs> uh, nope, conducive. Yeah, no, Mm-mm. that's not the right word either. But yeah, they, they, I mean, no, you're, you're right. They're not tornado <laughs> conducive. Yeah, that's not the not. word I wanted. But it. <laughs> oh yeah. boy! All right. Crazy. Good, good for Taylor, and on her birthday week. Yeah, it's like she planned it. No, I'm just kidding. She wow. controls the weather. <laughs> she is a god, after all. <laughs> We love her. Like, the universe like loves karma. her. Like karma. Yeah. Yeah. That's from her song. Her Car- latest song. Karma yeah, is just, my Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Ugh, I hate all of this. <laughs> Sia is venturing into reality TV by executive producing and contributing her music expertise to a new show called The Journey. Which... <laughs> Don't stop believing. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's a look. Which uh, she is a reality (laughs) TV show. Yeah, just in herself. Which Deadline describes as a makeover show using music instead of makeup. Hmm. Cool. The show will feature two non-famous guests and a celebrity coach in each episode, focusing on shared mental health topics for, uh, oh, wait. And a four-day transformative experience at the Journey Ranch. Uh, they'll make anything to a goddamn TV show. Yeah, they certainly will. Yep. Participants will write and perform an original song based on their life stories, with the help of a pop folk duo, the Brothers Corin. Mm. 
whoever that is, who have a method called the journey. Ah, oh, it's all coming together now. It sounds it's like all, a cult. Lots all of starting journeys. to make sense. Yeah, it seems a little <laughs> sus. So, Ellie, you know, you're you're educated in that field. You could start your own. You want to um, go on the show? Journey. I don't want to go on the show. No, no, but you could start your own kind of journey. Ranch. Ranch. Yeah. Journey ranch. Sounds like I a need dressing. funding. I need funding. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Oh. Let's find investors. The bad bitch ranch. <laughs> Could you imagine? It, I just get Cardi B to be like the guest host. Oh, God. Can, oh, we, boy. can we get free Could you imagine shots? how ratchet? Yeah, right. I'll be the first yeah. contestant if Cardi yeah. B's there. Yeah, you would be a bad bitch. Of course. I already am. <laughs> well, Colby just rolls up in a fucking tube top. <laughs> <laughs> Nails done. <laughs> well... Ellie, if you want to take this up, Sia might be an option too. So Sia's involvement is noted as fitting due to her openness about her own mental health struggles and her status as a leading singer-songwriter. So maybe yeah. we'll get in touch with Sia. Hmm. I like that. Right, I yeah. mean, I'm here for that. You don't see a lot of that kind of reality show. You don't show. see a lot of that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Good job, Jordan. I thought you did that on purpose. Okay. I didn't. I did, nope. but... That's uh, awesome. Jesse said, I always said that Ellie looks like Sia. Oh, what? You, you no can't see even her see face. Sia. Yeah. <laughs> what? Jesse also said, Amy Lee is 42. Oh, my God. <laughs> I always get told I look like Amy Lee and definitely not. Oh, Sia. maybe that's maybe that's what it was. This yeah. this was from seven minutes ago. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, that's probably yeah. that probably makes more sense. Yeah. Just I'm sure she'll chime in and be like, no, 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 not yeah. Sia. Not Sia. <laughs> Let's see. That's uh, what I get for uh, taking my time looking ya. at the. See ya. That's what you get. See you later. Yeah, right. I was just gonna say. Well, <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll see you next week. That's all we have for the Jordy Files. Signing off. Toodles, Taylor. We love you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave Travis. Oh but don't. boy. Please, please leave him. Please. <laughs> pop, 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 please. All right, you guys. We're gonna uh, give you another jam here while we set up for our next game. We've got. Truth Hurts, Shock Collar Trivia coming up next, and Ellie's Bad Bitch Bible Study. Stick around. This is JNC. Sandra, you want to play a tune for us? Sure. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> awesome. All right, you Give guys. Give us some sexy. <laughs> yeah, let's, yeah, let's get Ellie to say sexy one more time tonight. <laughs> Give it up, you guys, for Xander Jane. Circumstance for romance, working towards a second chance. But you can't play for a dangerous man. And it takes your hand. You can see it in his eyes. Oh, what a pretty disguise. Never gets enough it Takes your heart And chooses vices over love it Snaps out off And draws back to the red line a Dangerous man Chooses danger for every time Every time, yeah You thought you'd be at 23. No life and a mouth to feed. Oh, where is he? Always on the street, yeah. With the score and a fever to be. Oh, and don't stop trying. Oh, there ain't no use crying. Never gets enough it Takes your heart And chooses vices over love it Snaps out off He draws back to the red line a Dangerous man Chooses danger every time Every time Just so 
inviting His words that soothe you Men are run with bone and consume you He's gone and you wonder How far it took you under With so much to lose your fear You might be, you might be Dangerous to it It's enough He takes your heart And chooses vices over love His life's tied off He draws back to the red line The dangerous man Chooses danger every time The dangerous man Never gets enough He takes your heart And chooses vices over love His life's tied off he draws back to the red line A dangerous man Chooses danger every time Every time Oh Woo! Thank you so much Awesome Alright Zaza there Sexy Sexy. sexy. <laughs> Bring in the sexy. Yay, All right, you guys, Zaza. we we are back. And um, we didn't do anything to get this game set up. Not even a little bit. Not so even a little bit. Everybody, everybody ran for the Scattered. bathroom. Scattered. <laughs> so, uh, Jordan, you got to pick your trivia box over there. Oh. Yeah, We. it's been a while since we've done this. Do I uh, have to? You do. You do. Um, you want to play, Colby? Sure. All right, ah, strap fool. that on. I didn't know I was fool. going first. Fool. How, how does this work? We're all together. Ellie? Yeah. Oh, all right, it's coming over. It's coming over. Over? Yep. There you go. That was very scary. It. Yeah, right, I know. So. I thought it was going over my head for a second. <laughs> so we're going to strap in Oops. to our, our shot collars. Where do we put it? Around your neck. Oh, fuck. Strap it in. Um. Yep. <laughs> you, you said it, Linda. I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. I got short legs. All right. There we go. Strapped in. One beep means it's on. Allegedly. Can I just read the questions? From can can wait, who else is playing? Oh. Can Linda or Jen do the zapping? What? I'll do the zapping. Um, no, you're playing. Exactly. Uh, no, What's George. the rules of the zapping? So the uh, you, no, no, you you no. have to do it because you know how to to, to adjust the. I preset the 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 things, the who's or what's it's right. So, um, Brad's I... one. Is that are you one, two, and three? So I'm one. I'm not sure who two is. You should. Oh, vibrate I got them. it on. Yeah, vibrate I, not. Oh my god, is she whoa, whoa, holding whoa, whoa. it? Yeah. No, shit. Get that way. Get that back from her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get that back from Why her. Oh, it was oh, only a 20, thank you. God. She's just fumbling through it. I'll learn. We're all just over here getting fine. shot. You Why? just handed it off? Yeah. It's only at 100. Like a it's fine. Sorry. It only goes up to 99. Oh my god. What, what are we starting? We're starting 100. at 10. I preset it for 10. Oh, it came on when I pushed a button. It said 20. Oh, oh yeah, god. the, vi- yeah, the I didn't, vibrate. I didn't do oh. nothing. So you could vibrate to see whose is whose. Okay, well, I'm going to switch it over to the lightning bolt. Does that mean you have to no. turn it around your neck? It's on the vibrate. Yeah, Good. vibrate. So vibrate to find out who's two. Figure out who oh, is who. Okay. So, oh God, I have so much that's anxiety. I, I just have a small question. <laughs> oh, there's oh, that's me. So the okay. small question would be like, Colby. It vibrates. Yeah. It vibrates. It's on my leg. Oh, I so it, so it's a dog name. collar. So it has. No, I know. It has an option to make noise, vibrate, and shock. So so we're just vibrating to see where who because there are two is identical. Oh oh, Linda. <laughs> This is scary. You're me. a dirty birdie. You're a dirty birdie. You're a dirty birdie, and I like it. Ah. I like it. <laughs> okay, did we figure it out? Oh, my God. Okay, so in this game, <laughs> Jordy will read out some general trivia questions. I'm going to need a board, though. Oh. Do I, can I get a board from one of you guys? Oh, we all need boards? Yeah. Uh, did you guys put them all away? No. no. Okay, and then so I need a board. 
And a marker well, also and an oh, eraser. Yeah, I need okay, the whole I need a whole setup over here. Oh uh, wow. So we're gonna be writing our guesses down on the boards. Doesn't call we need one? No, he's Viable. got his. Okay. If we get it right, we'll have a good night. If we gets it wrong, we'll feel the prongs. So well, I don't like that. I don't like any of that. Yeah, well it's happening. I don't Thank like you. it. I don't like it. I'll, so. I'll only play if I get to use the vibrate. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm just telling you, you know, I'm the guest from oh, out of state. Oh We're going to be like, Linda, okay? where's your hands? <laughs> hands on the table. <laughs> I'm going to say this now. If it goes around hands my neck, I'm punching someone. <laughs> Everything on the table. Oh, these are good guys. Oh, great. Uh, what category one, are they? Two, They're just random things. You, uh, what is it? It's, uh, I wish I didn't know. Let's play truth or I forgot to do this. Good at it. I'm going to shuffle them up. Is seven enough? In 2008. Uh, Linda, you feel free to play too. In oh, wait, hold on. What are yeah. the rules? Oh. Are we all playing? Are we all guessing? Or Yeah, we're all guessing. Okay. And, and whoever gets, gets it wrong gets shocked. Okay. Is, you played this before? Nah. <laughs> First time? What is First this time. game? How did we get here? In, Where am I? In 2008, two sisters found this and sold it on eBay for 1000 Three hundred and fifty dollars. Is it a a potato that looked like Abe Lincoln? B a piece of bread that looked like it had Jesus's face on it. C a cornflake shaped like Illinois. Or D a carrot that looked like a perfect penis. <laughs> In two thousand eight, two sisters found this and sold it on eBay for one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Is it A, a potato that looked like Abe Lincoln, B, a piece of bread that looked like it had Jesus's face on it, C, a cornflake shaped like Illinois, or D, a carrot that looked like a perfect penis? Mm. Which I, um, shape is Illinois? <laughs> I said, I said Jesus bread. Jesus bread. I'm pretty I, sure it's Jesus bread. I did as well. Oh, God, Everybody said suck. Jesus bread. Oh. Uh, a lot of people out there in the, in the chat uh, are saying Jesus say bread. I was going to say C. What, what? They all said Jesus bread in the Eric chat Eric said uh, B as well. Mike, Mike. Oh. Jaybird Bird said are Jesus bread. Are we all bread. getting lit up? Oh, y'all are getting lit no. up. Was it C? Was it the dick? It was the cornflake ah. shaped like Illinois. It was I got to go with my gut. Sorry. I'm going to everyone's house that put B. I'm shocking y'all. I'm going to say this right now. All right, guys. We're going to just do rapid fire oh, here. Oh, my God. What, what number? Ten. Yeah, ten. we're starting oh, no. at ten. <laughs> okay. Where do you have it, Colby? Oh, On my leg. God. Ugh. All right. Here it comes. You don't know who it's going to be. Bring in the pain. <laughs> oh, it was, it was him. I saw it. I saw it light up. <laughs> so sorry, everyone. It's on my hair. Bring in the pain. <laughs> Oh. oh my god, it's me. I'm the Bring last in one. the pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ramp that thing up to 15. Oh, no, why? Heavens to Bitsy. Yeah, we'll go up fives. 15? Oh, no, what? Yeah, we'll go up what fives. Up? We'll go up fives. You, y'all are lucky Derek's not here. That shit gave me two. Yeah. We have to 32 right now. Okay, they're at 15. All right, next question. Oh, God, guys, don't get this wrong. God. The place you go to get clean is actually very dirty. The filthiest item in your shower is the, this should be easy, A, shampoo bottle, B, bar of soap, C, loofah, or D, faucet handles. The place you go to Ooh. get clean is actually very dirty. The filthiest item in your shower is the A, shampoo bottle, B, bar of soap, C, loofah, or D, faucet handles. <laughs> Dr. Taz says Colby. I was going to say E, me. <laughs> or E, Colby. <laughs> Can I put E while I win? No. Oh, you'll get shocked. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we would go, have to do some scientific ahead. research. It might be accurate. It no, might be don't. true. Yeah. Mike, Mike said the waterproof DVD player. Uh, Jonathan <laughs> said the handles, uh, the knobs. Do you need me to read it again or do you? Yes. Oh, okay. The place you go to get clean is actually very dirty. The filthiest item in your shower is the A, shampoo bottle, B, bar of soap, C, loofah, or D, faucet handles. So A is shampoo bottle. Are we ready? B is bar of soap. 
C is loofah. Do you, do you put your answer down? D All is right. faucet handles. Um, I said loofah. Oh, I did as well. Oh. C. I said C, loofah. What did Ellie oh, say? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What'd she say? Faucet handles? D. Oh. Okay. Was that it? Mm -hmm. Oh, what? no. Ellie, you should not have gone with the gut on this one. No. <laughs> Wait, we all got it wrong? You guys got it right. Oh, yeah. It is the loofah. I had that. I you had, had that. I know. And you erased oh, yeah, yeah. it. Oh, so you yeah. didn't go with the first she instinct did. again. She had it. <laughs> oh, Jonathan no. tricked me. Damn it, Jonathan <laughs> led her astray. I was like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Jonathan knows. I, I better, I should Damn not read man. the answers. <laughs> you had it, girl. Damn it. Fuck. All right. Jay, Jay Bird said he he changed. He had C and then he changed the handles and then he's like, Ugh. <laughs> well, he's not getting shocked. Right. Oh, All dude. right. Not Fucking yet. Do not yet. it, Jordan. Wait, take yours off your leg, Colby, because I don't remember if hers was two or I'm three. I'm two. Oh, you're two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And here we go. I'm so sorry. Eek. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm better. So what versus mode two. was that on? Versus two. Okay, you know, I'll remember that. After that reaction, <laughs> I don't think I should play that game. <laughs> what it's fucking taken. mode is this? You know. Do we go up to 20 now? Just saying. Some people love getting That's shocked. That's high, though, Brad. Yeah, let's go to 20. Oh, God. Everybody goes to 22. It's, it's, uh... And then after that, we'll take a no. break and we'll go to 23 for, for Taylor. Actually, oh, no. let's just go to 23 right now. Just go to 34. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. no. 23. Well, we're okay. All right. Next question. This female. Karma is my shot caller. <laughs> <laughs> this female fashion staple was originally created for gentlemen. Is it A, bra, B, stockings, C, high heels, or D, corset? This female fashion staple was originally created for gentlemen. A, bra, B, stockings, C, high heels, or D, corset. <laughs> Ellie, remember what happened last time? I know. <laughs> no, she's really conflicted. She's like, what was, what was it again, Jordan? Um, this female fashion staple was originally created for gentlemen. Is it A, bra, B, stockings, C, high heels, or D, corset. Dr. Taz says, tell Colby to put it on his neck <laughs> and make it 50. No. Ah. Mm. Uh, uh, oh, I have to listen to your parental. No. What's crazy is like, I'm every, 18. like we, we got some conflicting answers here out yeah. there in the, in the uh, chats. Mm. I'm going to go with my gut. Oh, God. And my first answer. Because oh, I've changed it twice now and got punished both times. <laughs> <Yeah>. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you guys got? I said I said stockings. I said stockings. I, I said D. Corset. <laughs> well, the great news is you're all wrong. Oh, oh no. no. Uh, is it bras? According to this, it's high heels. What? Oh. No, I'm looking this up. There's no way. <laughs> great. Well. The cards don't lie. <laughs> Jonathan, th Jonathan said, I'm just going to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> no more guessing. <laughs> Um. All right. Well, here we are. No, 20, are we on twenty three? We're on twenty three. We're on oh. twenty three. Was it for Taylor's? Oh. I didn't feel it. Oh, no, I didn't do it yet. Oh, I thought you looked it up. Oh, oh yeah, I did. And what? What's the result? Uh, they were first to discover that heel shoes help their feet stay in the stirrups and give them the stability they needed to shoot their bows and arrows. Oh, oh. so they're basically cowboy boots. Save a horse, mm -hmm. ride a cowboy. Well, they probably have those little <laughs> heels, those little, like, nerdy ones. Save a horse, have some high heels. I'm gonna see a man out in stilettos hunting. That's what I wanna see. Alright, guys, here we go. Hate this. And y'all wanted 20. Mm -hmm. Three. Here we go. Right down the line. Boop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Oh, shit. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's crank it up to 34 oh. for Taylor's birthday. You said 23. That was 20. I said no, that was 20. Oh, yeah, we'll do 23. All right, next question. Okay, hold on, Brad. I can only do one thing at a time here. Well, well if yeah. you'd have taught me how to do that. Yeah, right? I should uh, give you the questions. Give me the we would questions. be at 99 and we'd all be dead. <laughs> <laughs> what does this yeah. button Lynn's do? Like, yeah, what does this one do? <laughs> Who felt that? Mike Mike wants to know, what the fuck was that, Colby? <laughs> ah, 
Shut up. Okay. <laughs> it's you guys right see on that, my that uh, video on uh, like Instagram or whatever? And there's like a camel in the back of the truck, and he goes to pet it and goes. Ah. That was Colby. <laughs> What's Colby? <laughs> Okay, Linda's reading the question Sorry. now. Okay. And I'm going to zap. All right, Linda. This might help you like rats even more than you do. A, they can tread water for up to 40 hours. B, they like to have sex with other species. C, they can actually laugh. Or D, mama rats train babies to avoid traps. What? What? <laughs> this might help you like rats even more than you already do. They can tread water for up to 40 hours. B, they like to have sex with other species. C, they can actually laugh. D, mama rats trains babies, train babies to avoid traps. I want to hear a rat laugh. <laughs> Me too. Ew. Scary. Well, I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> What you want? Ah, ah, ah. Doctor Taz says they taste like chicken. Of yep. course he knows this. Yummy. All right, everybody got it there. Got it written down. We have some conflicting answers I out there in that. the world. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict there. Hmm. All right, I said a tread water. Colby said C. Oh, I can't. <laughs> yeah! The answer is oh. C. And oh. Ellie said A uh, also. They can what? actually laugh. I need to hear this. I have a story about that, though. Oh. There you was, heard a rat laugh? There was one <laughs> that was in our shed, and I went to go grab a rake from the shed and open it up, and all I hear is this, like, really high-pitched, like, evil laugh. I swear. Oh, no. It laughed at you. <laughs> so I immediately grabbed uh, a steel BB gun. Uh-oh. It didn't laugh anymore. <laughs> oh, I killed the rat. Ew, that's so terrifying. I don't like that. Okay, I've owned rats. I haven't heard <laughs> yeah. them laugh. Mike Mike said they easily certify for loans. <laughs> You're just not funny, Ellie. Wow. Maybe. Yeah, you didn't make them chuckle, chuckle. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, so we got the Ellie and the Brad. I've lost Taylor every Smith. single one, I yeah, think. Yeah, this is not your night, is it? And Just fucking do it. I wish I could do you both at the same time. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's, hey, the man. Hey, That's the surprise, clip. Surprise, surprise. I wish I could do you both at the same time. <laughs> oh, in what context did you mean that? You could do that I in Alabama. It. Any and all. Hey, yeah. na hey, now. That's the state right next to me. Don't start that. <laughs> Don't start that. Here we go. 23 and me. No. Bam. Oh, uh, okay. oh no. Uh, and ugh. oh god, it sucks! It sucks so <laughs> do bad. You got it in the sweet meat. Where do you got it? I got it in the sweet meat. I got it yeah. right in the jugular. It just Ew. gives me goosebumps. That's it. Oh, I don't like oh, is it. Is that it? All right, so yeah. we're up to thirty-four for Taylor's birthday. Thirty-four okay. age or her <clears throat> current age. That's high, Brad. And the next question is, or the next, yeah, about two hundred thousand people are born with this extra body part each year. Is Dingling. it? A, fingers. B, buttholes. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was funny. Oh, wait. C, nipples. D, toes. How many times? About 200,000 people are born with this extra body part each year. A, fingers. B, buttholes. C, nipples. Or D, toes. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I personally think it's a 50-50. But everybody in the chat room is saying nipples. <laughs> You're not supposed to look. Uh, what, what can I do? What can I do? What, what do you I mean do? everyone? There's one. Are, are, you, are you swayed by the audience, Brad? I'm not. I, I've written. I, I clearly I am. I really am. <laughs> Ellie doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Um, okay. I said, uh, I said toes. I said nipples. I said nipples. Uh oh, the right. toes is gonna get a shocker. Oh, Whoa. it's nipples. It's nipples. how is that possible? I passed because biology. we're we uh, have like uh, six uh, nipples. I'm, we're like I, cats. I, I, I might have dated a guy that had three nipples. <laughs> but so, like, see? are they real? Well, nipples? it was no. a guy, so it they weren't. 
It's like oh, a little shit. birthmark, mark, right? It's not like a full ass nipple. No, it, it was. But I feel oh, like really? there's so many people nipple. that have toes and fingers. Brad, stop tiptoeing around the shock here. I'm going to tiptoe. <laughs> toe. No. Six toe my way right out of here. Put it on your nipple, Post Joe Malone. <laughs> no, this is not that kind of show, Jordan. This is 34 for Taylor. I don't know about you. Wait, wait. Let it me might, get a nice close up. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Now. Tingly nipple. Let's get a nice close up. All right, we'll get that light on. Here we go. Light it up like the 4th of July. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I think we just saw his O face. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't it. No, that no. wasn't it. Oh, my God. All right, take it up to 40. Oh. And uh, I hope Ellie gets it wrong. I hope we all do well on this I probably round. will. Holy mackerel. Are you? How did that feel? It was not great. Mm. His eye, <laughs> Dr. Taz said your eye twitched. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? <clears throat> How many pounds of poop does the average person drop into the toilet each week? Week? Y'all should know this. A, <laughs> if it's a week, Jordan, each it's week. like it's one. A, <laughs> one LB. Three pounds. B, six pounds. This is the whole week? A whole week. C, nine pounds. D, 12 pounds. How many pounds of poop? How many pounds of shit does the average person drop into the toilet each week? <laughs> Am I average? <laughs> well, that's I'm a not. question you're going to have to ask yourself after the answer, girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, where, where, where were the weights again? I didn't now, get any of it. A is three pounds. B is six pounds. C is nine pounds. Where did I get that accent? D is 12 pounds. You, you've been in the 10 or in the GA too long. I don't think this is right, but I'm going with it. <laughs> no, no cheating. I'm going to stick with my answer. Oh, okay. oh, oh, she, she's holding strong here. Yeah. Fool. If I'm there. wrong, I'm God. wrong. I am a loyal woman. I said six pounds. <laughs> I went full sense. What you sense. got, Colby? C? The answer is B, six pounds. Thank oh, you, God. Oh, there is no way that Brad only shits yeah, six pounds yeah, a week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no way. It says the average. I don't know where all my sound effects went. <laughs> He's just hitting buttons. He, he's so um, oh, uh, there it is. by his shocks. Oh. He can't operate the board. Brad, you get to skip this one. Oh, thank God. Wow. I'm just, just up it to 45 after that. Uh, six pounds of Duke. <laughs> of Duke. Did you see what Mike wrote? What did he say? Brad can't concentrate because he's crapped himself the last shot. <laughs> yeah, there's six pounds in this chair <laughs> in my pants. Oh, no. <laughs> Dr. Taz wants to know where you are. Oh. She's here. She's here. She's in the corner. Oh, Is that D? Oh. Yeah, oh. go even Is further. That, Is that D? All right. Oh, Jaybird wrote two poop Here we go, poops. guys. <laughs> Dun, da, da, dun, so da, skipping dun. Brad. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Who are you going to do first so I can get a close up? Ellie. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. Now oh. she knows it's coming. Yeah, right. We got to have an eye thing. Yeah. <laughs> and. No. Did it work? No. Oh, no. This is awful. Why is it doing this? Oh, no. Help. Do I need to turn it back on? Hold Maybe. One, two is off. One is on. It's on now. Okay. We're on. Oh, oh dear. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> so dear. <laughs> that And the Colbster. That didn't sound bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is yours working? Mm -hmm. Oh, did I, did I shock you twice? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to tell because we can't see the light. All right. Next question. Uh, and we're at 40 now. 45 and then we'll do this oh. this will be the last one and we gotta we gotta blast Boot, through the rest boogie. of the show ready <laughs> hell you called his ass <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable all right let's hear it talk about endurance a female rat can do this in a six hour period let me do that again <laughs> talk about endurance a female rat can do this in a six hour period a, 
have sex 500 times. B, travel over 10 miles. C, eat five times its weight in food. And D, birth 48 little rat babies. Wait, can you give me the answers one more time? Sure. A, have sex 500 times. B, travel over 10 miles. C, eat five times its weight in food. D, birth 48 little rat babies. What was the question? All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Talk about endurance, in case anybody wants to change their answer. <laughs> a female rat can do this in a six-hour period. <laughs> a, has sex 500 times. B, travel over 10 miles. C, eat five times its weight in food. D, birth 48 little rat babies. You had a rat. I did have a rat, but I had one rat. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't I don't feel confident with my answer, but I'm sticking with it. Um, I said have rat babies. Okay. But the six hour thing kind of threw me off. They fucking they lost man. <laughs> They're getting toasted. It's have sex five hundred times. Oh, answer A. Oh no! All right, you Ellie. got it, Ellie. I did. Yes, Ellie got Finally it. Finally got one. Let's toast them. All right. All yeah, right. give me a goddamn break. Toast yeah, all right. Two. Oh, you want to be first, Brad? Yep. All right. Oh God. Do not drink. Ah! Oh God. Oh. Wow. 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 That jumps up. That oh. jumps up. Holy heavens. That jumps up. Oh, wow. Jesus. All right, Colby. Last last shock. You got it on your leg. Yes, it's on my leg. Did it work? All right. Damn well, it. that's the game. <laughs> These ding collars. Oh man! All right, let me get this fucking thing off. Was yeah. the rubber supposed to be on it? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that last one was pretty. Was pretty intense. It was uh, yeah, pretty you good. had like a blood curdling scream there, Brad. Yeah. yeah, it was a pretty good one. Thought you were being merdared. Oh, set that over there. We're gonna set oh, that. Okay. Set that anywhere oh. over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, um, we're going to move uh, quickly into our next segments here. Um, and uh, we're going to get a little food for thought in Ellie's Bad Bitch Bible Study. Are you ready, Ellie? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. I switch switch plots all the time. No, I I could fix it. I could fix it. (laughs) I have the power. I know how to do this. I don't. I don't know how to do this at all. All right. So, Ellie, (laughs) that's me. There you go. We're just going to. And and Linda's breasts. Oh, shit. It's all good. Oh, my gosh. They've never been seen in public before. Like that. Terrible. Anyways, you're hi. welcome, everyone. <laughs> Oopsie, sorry. Uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for my Bible study today, there's something that I've been currently trying to tackle. One of the things that I've struggled with, which is actually finishing a project when I start it. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that can relate to that. And... Um, I noticed that one of the things that really kind of like takes the wind out of my sails when I start a project is I look at the finished product first and I'm like, this is what I want. And there's so many steps until you get to that point and you have to start with the first one and then continue on. And so you finally get to the end product, you know, um, So sometimes that can be very overwhelming if you're like, this is the spot where I want to be. And then you're starting and sometimes it's slower than you're expecting or you run into different obstacles. Um, You know, something like starting a podcast or, you know, when you started the podcast, it was not where we're at today. 
But right, where yeah. we're at today is like kind of a goal, you know, like so um, as we go into the new year, I think a lot of people, one of the most common, um, what is it, New Year's resolutions is to like work out more, or lose weight or do whatever, you know, and that takes time. That takes so much time, more time than I think you you realize when you make that uh, commitment. But it's a good commitment to make. That is a commitment that I've made recently in my life. And one of the biggest struggles about it has been having that patience and knowing that it's going to take at least five weeks to see anything. And you just have to be consistent with it every day and make a, a plan and stick to that and just trust the process until you get to the product. Um, and that takes a while. I think everything is so fast paced. And so especially like with our phones and being able to have like instant data and all this stuff, as soon as we want it, it's available to you. So when you have something where it's like a diet or a project or, you know, you're seeking out a, a new job or something that, new a new path or whatever takes time takes going through the baby steps that continuously add up your little stairway up into the final product so one of the things that i've been doing is setting the smaller goals and i talk about this all the time setting small go goals to reach the big goal um but it's very, very important when you're starting a new project or starting just something new in your life that you haven't mastered yet is to set small, obtainable goals. And once you reach that, then you set your next goal. Um, don't compare yourself to what you see for people that have been doing this for two, three, five, ten years. You can't. You have to start at the entry level where you're at and learn as you go and make those small little uh, goals and, and reach them. So if you're looking to make a New Year's resolution starting out and it's something like working out or getting in shape or eating better or whatever it is that you're trying to do, starting a new career, starting a, a job where you work for yourself, whatever it is you're doing, um, understand that you're going to have to have patience. You're going to have to have consistency um, dedication and it's going to take a while to see results from it but you have to choose to do it because it's what you need to do rather than choosing to do it because you want to see the final product sure 100% I love it yeah nice. small attainable goals and uh, and that'll get you through you know, if you have you know? And if you catch yourself, like, becoming overwhelmed, take a step back because I guarantee you that you're getting overwhelmed because you see the final product and you're just not there yet. It's not that you can't get there, but that it's going to take a considerable amount of time to get there. So don't let that discourage you. Stay encouraged to just do the thing each do day. Thing. Mike, Mike said, Q Axel Rose. All you need is just a little patience. Oh. <laughs> That's my best, Axel. Nice. Oh, Good job, yeah. Ellie. Thanks. Very nice. Very nice. All right, you guys. We're going to quickly get into our shameless plugs. All right. Um, anybody want to go first? Or uh, any, anybody have any shameless plugs? Brad, you get to do your own tonight. Hey, no, fuck. <laughs> terrible I'm, I'm unprepared i usually just listen to derrick's and then copy them again <laughs> copy paste um anybody anybody no one no not you no, no not, not you. you um if you need anyone to drive a truck for you we <laughs> know someone with a cdl whoop, whoop. and she looks great behind the wheel it's me in her flannel truck driving jordy for rent that's gonna for I'm, rent. I'm gonna put i'm gonna make business cards Let's say truck driving, Jordy. Oh, yeah, I need that shirt. <laughs> uh, what's your shameless plug? Oh, boy. So I'm starting in OnlyFans. Oh, God. All right, yeah, back to me. And that's enough. No. <laughs> All, All right. you need to know. 
Very quickly, <laughs> uh, a big shout out, of course, to our sponsors and partners at Code Rum, the Sneaky Tiki in downtown Stewart, the Bug Juice, Bug Repellent, Leak of Busters Roofing, and, of course, all of our patrons from Patreon uh, out there just giving us money cuz. I love that. We love you for that. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel or wherever you're catching the show. We'd love for you to do that. Uh, we are very close to our 500 subscriber goal, so please uh, do that and uh, share our YouTube channel with your friends. Uh, if you don't have any friends, as I said last week, just remember strangers are just friends. You haven't weirded out yet. <laughs> uh, check out our partner podcasts at Drums and Rums, Riffs and Rhythms. Uh, they just dropped a new podcast episode today, and I am on it. Wow. And, and oh. I must say, I'm... I'm quite pretentious, so you should check it out and uh, listen to me when I don't have to push buttons and I can just focus on running my mouth. Uh, Riffs and Rhythms, it's a great podcast with uh, Paul Robertson and the Kevin McLaughlin. Uh, also check out the Al Beltran podcast, uh, which I, I helped to produce. And uh, of course, our friends at 561 Music, uh, their podcast is great too and features a lot of local Talent in the South Florida area. Uh, next week is our annual Ugly Sweater Holiday Show, uh, which is always a blast. So send us your ugly sweater photos uh, from years past or whatever you're wearing today. You can send that jams and cocktails, jams and cocktails at gmail.com, and we'll feature them on the show next week. You're not going to want to miss that. Uh, come out and see me perform live around town this week. Uh, you can find out where I'm playing at bradbrock.com. And if you love what we do and you want to support the show in a meaningful way, consider subscribing to our Patreon page. Starts at five bucks a month and uh, truly offsets uh, some of the costs that go into the shenanigans that we give to you each week. And I've been kind of pushing this this past week. If uh, you'd like to have your portrait framed and hung on the wall here in the lounge for a month, you could become a beer keg sponsor. That's right. That's right. I might even have... Uh, yeah there it is i might even have a graphic for it uh listen you guys uh you're you're going to get a shout out from us on the show you're gonna have your name in the credits uh and plus uh you'll get your choice of a jnc koozie or a bottle of our jams and hot sauce hot sauce um so uh you can if you're watching on the big screen like some people do you can scan that in venmo and just send us a hundred bucks and uh You'll be our keg sponsor for, for next month. Uh, we'll love our, you a long time. Yeah, and we'll love you a long time. But our, our most recent keg sponsor is me. So It's a me. It's a me. So you get to see my mug anyway. But yeah, it's, uh, it's literally one of the most expensive things that we have that constantly runs out. Um, so it would be a big help. We would, we would truly, truly love that. And uh, Mike, Mike said, if that ain't the seconds before disaster photo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the keg's empty for sure. <laughs> I know. Well, the funny, a funny it's story. It's photoshopped. It's a photoshop. No, keg. it's a real keg. Oh. But I was about to go get the new keg. And I said, Jordan, can you please take a picture of me with the empty keg first? Because I'm not going to hold the, the fresh <laughs> keg above my head like that. Um, that. That's it. That's my shameless plugs. And uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Good job, Brad. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, you guys. Well, uh, we're going to wind this show down. We're only a couple of minutes over time. Not so bad. I thought we were going to, as always, I thought I was going to be grasping for minutes here. <laughs> uh, but here we are. Thank you, you all. Fool. fool. <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We hope you enjoyed our sh Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's the big, it's the big beer boy. Delicious. Uh, thank you. We hope you enjoyed our show. I'll give it up once again for my wonderful friends and co-hosts, the JNC Destruction Crew, Ms. Jordy Taylor. Come down, bitch, Henry Brock. Our wonderful friends and guests here, Linda from Georgia, Jen off in the corner, and of course Colby, uh, hanging out with us this evening. Uh, join us uh, again next Wednesday for our live ugly sweater holiday party. It's always a blast. It's going to be a great time. I've got a great sweater. I can't wait to show off. It's going to be so fun. Uh, Jordan's is coming. Uh, Ellie's was uh, was great last year. So 
Uh, this is like our fourth annual or third annual. I don't know. It's all running together, but uh, we're doing it again. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Until then, you guys take care of yourselves and each other out there. Uh, broadcasting live from the legendary JNC Lounge. I'm Brad Brock. We love you. Good night. Oh, 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 I'm amazed. I think this song did the life is with. Oh, 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 don't you know? When the song is done, it's time.